There are times when we need to turn water off, but the stopcock doesn't work, we don't know where the outside tap is or whatever, right? And we need to resort to a thing called freezing the pipe. What we do, so let's say we need to turn this stopcock off here. So look, we've got water in this one here, although it should be. Oh, let me just turn this on. I just want to prove to you that we have water here. <laughs> See? <laughs> There's water there, all right? Say we want to turn this off, and now I know there's a stopcock just around the corner, right? But sometimes we don't know that. Now, electric freezing kits are worth hundreds, thousands of pounds in some cases, the really good ones, and they clamp a little bit of metal on here, and they freeze a little slug of water inside the pipe, and that acts actually as a valve almost in that little area. Now, I know some of you might say, well, if you freeze a pipe, Jimmy, it's gonna split the pipe, but it won't do if it's a small segment of pipe. It just doesn't happen. The other way is we get something like this. You get it round your pipe like that. You run your little thing along there and you buy your polar spray stuff to uh, just inject into it, okay? That's great. It actually does work. I've done it many times as well when I've been out on site and we haven't been able to find a stop cock. But the problem is, is the spray itself can be quite expensive, or even worse, you're miles away from anywhere that sells it. So I was thinking, Lynx. This is Lynx Black, frozen pear and cedarwood scent, okay? You get three cans of Lynx for seven quid, all right? Now you can probably see my breath out here. It is quite cold out here at the moment. Uh, so it's probably about four degrees in here at the moment, isn't it, Max? So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna see whether I can use Lynx to freeze the pipe. So, don't go anywhere. Let's see if this works. I'll be amazed if it does. And if it does, we'll be able to freeze this with links and open this up and water should not come out. Let's see if it works. So, let's just spray it on here. Look at that. Look, it's minus 10 and it smells okay. <laughs> right, so we've got to find a way of delivering it to the pipe. So, usually what you get with those sprays is like, you get it with like WD-40, don't you? Sort of through a tiny little hole and you spray it into this. Now, I've just got a little bit of wire. So look, there we go. That's on there now, like that. Usually this takes about 10 minutes. And then a good idea as well is just to get a couple of tie wraps as well. Right, so there we go. So, one thing you should always know when you're doing this, you cannot have any water running through it whatsoever, okay? You have to have everything turned off. All the taps in the house must be turned off, everything. You can't have water running through. For the obvious reason is water that's coming through here is probably about 10 degrees, and that's gonna take away the cool um, as we've got it running. So, we'll just use like a whole can up, shall we? Bear in mind what a can is, two quid, something like that. It smells great. Don't use your use links, do you, Max? No, but it does smell all right, doesn't it? Reminds me of school, mate. Philippa Gooch, right, at school. <laughs> Seriously, that's her real name, bruv. She was uh, staring through into the boys' change room and I sprayed some of this in her eye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Philippa. She did go out with me after that, though. Oh, look. Look at that. Minus 10. I'm going to be amazed if this works, dude. Thing is, it's got to freeze that whole bit of copper pipe up. Minus 10 at the bottom there, so it's sort of filled up that. like eau de cologne. You have to wait, that's the one thing, even with normal freezing kits. If you're too sneaky and quick, it doesn't work. So it's 16.51, so it's been on about six minutes now. Still minus 10. Is that just the outside though? 10 degrees there on the pipe. It's gotta be frozen now, man. One can, man. The freezing cold ads, look, it's gone everywhere. But it's better than calling the water board out, isn't it, if you're in trouble. One minute, that's one minute there, done. Right, last time I got soaked doing this, so hopefully we won't this time. Has it worked? So that proves that you should continue to buy Arctic Spray online. I've left a link to it in our Amazon store. <laughs> Links doesn't work at all. <laughs> Jeez, man. I can't believe that. It hasn't done anything. It's just 
just a lot of links. <laughs> Oh man, there's so much links in there. It did start to get frosty though on the outside. Mm. Well, you live and learn. Subscribe.